Hey guys, so we're going to do a video tonight. Programming video. We have two to put up this weekend. This one is uh, going to be on a Kenwood TK2312. Uh, it's an older radio, but it's uh, built like a brick and easily repaired for the most part. These are not waterproof by any stretch of imagination. But uh, I got a couple of questions on the uh, Kenwood NX700. And she's kind of set up sort of like this one. But we're going to program a couple zones into uh, this TK3312 just to show you how these zones work on this. And basically, just think of zones as banks, like in a scanner. A bank and a scanner is basically a zone in a commercial Kenwood portable radio like the TK3312. So just think of zones as banks in a scanner. So we'll just put a couple random frequencies in here. We'll just go 444, 100, and that is at a range. So, first thing we're going to do, we are going to, oh yeah, she's VHF, never mind. So, we're going to go new. Let's call a couple of random frequencies again. So, we've got 146.520 on right there, 146.550. We'll put a decode 100 and 100. You can change the channel name if you want to put a different name. So we'll just put it 146, uh, 520, 146, uh, 550. So we'll put uh, high power for so five high power in these as uh, as four watts, 4.5 watts high. And low power is like 1.5 watts. So, you know, it's up to yourself what you want to set it to. So, <clears throat> so we got zone one, two channels. So let's say, for example, say we want to do a zone two. Put a second bank. So we go zone up. So now we're on zone two. So we'll put a couple different frequencies in here. 145, 010. Zero, zero. That's a packet frequency, 145-800, which is ISS. So we'll call this one packet. We'll call this one ISS. Again, high power, wide, blah, blah, blah. So, so you go zone down. That's bank one. Zone up, bank two. So, okay. So what you need to do... You need to set your key assignment on front of your radio. Uh, this is their basic layout as they come, but you can erase all this and put the buttons and the knobs. You can get them to do basically whatever you want them to do within within reason of the features that the radio can do. So we're going to go selector, which is the knob around the very top of the radio. It's going to be your channel selector. Um, then we got your B and C. So I'm going to say B down. We're going to call that zone down. You got C, which is the arrow up. We'll call that one zone up. So then you got your side buttons on the side radio. Normally I set these to momentary squelch or squelch level, however you want to put it. But I just normally off momentarily and number two I usually or should say side button two I usually push that on lamp is it so front the rest of the buttons I don't normally set them whatever but right now you can put them wherever you like but right now zone down zone up so zone up or zone up down yeah zone down zone up Squelch trap momentary, lamp, and channel up and down. Okay, so when you got that, you're going to want to uh, write it to your radio. So now she's writing to the radio. 
The programming cable to do the TK3312 is the KPG-22U. And you can download the driver right off Kenwood's website. No problem. So. As you can see. So we got. So right now we're in zone one. So you want to change to go to zone one or two. Now you're in zone two just like that let's see it changes almost to your banks is it it's uh, pretty easy to do uh, regards to that now so we're going to erase our uh, everything off our zone one or zone two rather so now we'll go back on the zone one which is bank one uh, you can call, I think you might be able to, yes, you can even call it Banks. You can call it Bank 1 if you like. <laughs> Whatever you like to call it. Now, um, another thing you can do uh, with these radios is if you've got a bunch of frequencies, I'll just put a bunch of random ones in here. They don't mean anything at all, or putting a couple there so over here this is how you turn your scan on or off if you want the channel to be scanned you do them over here in your scan add menu so they're all set to yes now, if you want the radio to scan again you go to your key assignment now this is how I set it up so I usually set the S button I'll set that one to uh, scan um, uh, to scan and then the A button I set that to scan add or delete so we're not using zones so we can turn zone buttons off again All right, so right now we've got S is scan A is scan delete or add uh, side one is squelch momentary off uh, side two is lamp Channel selector is channel up and down, and the rest of the buttons does nothing. So we'll program that into the TK3312. So she's scanning her, uh, uploading that. Okay. So now. When you press your S button, try to get this into shots kind of hard. So you get the radio into just your S button, scan, and now she's in scan. And you can, and if you didn't want channel four to be in scan, you can just add select, take her out of scan, go to your Channel 4, take it out of scan, and then you can scan again. And that's it. So that's scan. That's how that's done. So, we're going to remove scan. So we're not going to scan now. We'll remove that from the radio. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to delete a bunch of channels here. We'll just leave it on 146.52. What we're going to do, we're going to set the radio up so it uh, can send two-tone. And sending two-tone on these is like, you know, it's not bad. So, uh, let me see. There you go, two-tone. This is where you set your, your two-tone tones. Uh, she just comes normally set to 321.7 and 928.1. There's not a single tone, so basically it's not a grouped tone. 
single tone or two tone. So now we need to set our uh, channel channel edit. We want that to send two tone, two tone one. Right? Um, so we're good there. So now you need to go into your key assignment and then you need to go to your C and you need to put two tone. So basically how two tone works is you press your C button the radio goes into transmit or you, or you hold the PTE down hit the button and then you'll send her two tones and then you just say what message you want to say. So we'll just write that to the radio Okay, so she's set to do send two tone on 146.52. I'm gonna let you listen to this now. Okay, so just put a random frequency in 146.550. Uh, so we're going to test two tone on 146.550 at the moment. So basically, all you're gonna do, according to how you have your key assignment set up, which C, which is call, which is this one button right here on the far on the top far uh, right hand corner that's your call button there so basically when you press your call button two tone, I'll keep my finger there to keep the light on but you press that button or that button and you have two tone then all you do is key your, key your radio VO1MDS testing, one, two. VO1MDS testing. And that's how you tune or uh, send a two tone page. So, on the TK2312. So, pretty easy. Not much to it. Okay, so now we're going to set up a PTT ID. So, we're going to go back into key assignments. We're going to remove two tone from the options. Now we're going to go to PTT ID, channel edit, PTT ID. We're going to turn that on, which is going to be EOT, which is the end of, of transmission. You can set it to BOT, which is uh, basically when you first key up, it'll send an ID before transmission. EOT, which is end of transmission, or both. Personally, I like setting it at the end of transmission. But that's just me. So we get end of transmission. Um, then, uh, I'm pretty sure we need to set this up. PTT ID. We're going to set it to um, MDC 1200. Uh, All right. So we'll go to. Optional signaling. We go MDC twelve hundred. MDC two uh, twelve hundred is where you'll set your PTT ID. So I'm just going to put a random fifty five forty five. Um, let's see. Anything else here we can change? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'm going to change that, turn that off, I'm going to change your zone signaling type to MDC 1200, and we'll just rate that to the radio, 
and at the end of transmission when I release the PTT switch you should hear the uh, the PTT ID being sent over there take this off so we're going to test it again 146.550 we get one MDS testing 1, 2, 3 now if you hear a little in the end, that's the PTT ID. Test 1212 via 1MDS testing. And again, that's at the end of transmission. So you released PTT via 1MDS testing. And that's it. That's how you do uh, MDC 1200. So now we're going to turn MDC 1200 off. We're not putting anything in here. So we'll close that channel ID and we'll turn off the ID. Pro program that. Yes, I know. Now I can't hear it. Turn on is one thing, turn off is another. <laughs> uh, what do I got it set to? Oh, right here. Turn that back to DTMF. Close it, then right. And then PTT ID will be disabled. Is it? This, folks, is basically how you program the uh, the Kenwood TK3312 with the software, which is the Kenwood KPG-134 Delta. So, hope the video was of benefit to you guys. And if you have any questions or anything about it, let me know in the uh, comment section below. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll chat later. Again, I got the uh, another programming guide coming up. It's on the uh, Kenwood NX700 mobile radio. Anyway, folks, all the best. It's running at 63. We're out of here.